Mm. How are you, YouTube? George here. Hope you're well. And here we have a. Uh, it says Galaxy Saturn, but I don't know. That somebody done that. And somebody done that. Um. So this has come all the way from Killarney to get sorted out and we'll have a quick look through it here I have it on the generator at the minute and um, that should be S9 so I'm not sure whether it's just out of adjustment or um, 100 microvolts there um, or whether uh, we have a bad connection on the antenna jack uh, we have a segment oh, come on focus we have a segment out on the uh, on the frequency counter then we have this I'm a bit concerned about this I'm hoping that the encoder is okay it seems to work okay there's actually two segments out on that there you can see the middle of the 5 is missing and then part of the 8 is missing as well that segment is now it could be just dry joints or something like that but I'll know as soon as I pull it asunder uh, which I'm going to do now and uh, we'll get back to you after that right so we have our strip down and um, I tried uh, touching up the focus I tried touching up the, the pins of this uh, with no success uh, so I think we're gonna have to change these now what I just need to check is I have these size displays I know I have these in blue and I know I have these in blue but I have to make sure that the pin out is correct um, if not we're gonna be in trouble so we'll just have to wait and see Oh yeah, the uh, encoder is just loose, luckily. So what we'll do is we'll tighten that up and we'll, we'll put a bit of thread lock on it first. So I'll just back that off so I can put some thread lock on the, on the threads of it. And uh, we'll tighten her up then and she'll be grand. Okay, some considerable time later. Um... I don't know how long since you've seen the, the, the last segment of video that I shot on this. Uh, so basically this radio is done now. And uh, I'd get into what had to be done now in a moment. But um, Right, so re-sprayed the cases. Or the case, sorry. Re-sprayed the handles. And um, I re-sprayed all the knobs. Because uh, there was a couple of odd ones on it and um, I just ended up spraying the whole lot and there's our blue uh, channel display and counter now what we ended up ha having to do here was we ran into a problem uh, all I did was I ordered in segments from uh, the states for the other counter and uh, they didn't work <clears throat> uh, turns out some sort of a fault in the counter module so I just rather than mess around with it I just junked it so what I done was I got an, uh, an FC uh, 347 or whatever that counter is you know them little ones you plug into the Cobras I can never remember that, the number of them and I modified it to fit in here I took it out of its case and uh, I um, mounted it in there and made this opening a little bigger because these segments are are bigger than the ones that was in there so uh it fits in there quite nice and uh works well see all your little mode lights underneath there am fm cw uh, etc so she's grand uh that's the kind of cosmetic end of things um redid all the white dots on the on the knobs as well and uh we had to go inside then and tune it um what is going on with my camera today it does not want to focus but anyhow um 
someone had been in there with a screwdriver and basically uh, there was a few broken cores here and there so uh, most notably the VCO one uh, you could hardly turn it and this radio was deaf as a post uh, the way it was uh, it didn't actually hear anything on FM and uh, AM was fairly deaf and sideband was fairly deaf so someone was in all the cans and uh, had a right good old time in there so uh, we went through the tuning procedure and sorted her out and uh, it hears everywhere now uh, I just have it on the triple five there at the minute nothing happening today so she's grand uh, done all the usual stuff S meter is is set uh, had it on the test set here and um, <laughs> We, we've set everything up, S9, yada yada, all that stuff done, so it turned out pretty well and uh, I was just speaking to Tim on the phone there and he's he's happy enough, so uh, hopefully he'll be happy when he sees this video. I don't know what's going on with my camera, but I think something is wrong, either my lens is dirty, wait till I see. Yeah, so he's happy enough with it anyway. Uh, excuse the barking dogs. So it turned out quite well. It's nice and tidy now. Uh, presentable looking. And hopefully at some stage Brad will be able to do the decals for these. I sent him a face for, for one of these. So, uh, well, for a jumbo. It's the same thing. My God. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We get her boxed up and sent back. And quite pleased with the counter now how that turned out and uh, you know somebody made a ball to the face of this with this I, I don't know is it letra set or what is it but um hopefully you can get a decal for it in the future from brad so that's it happy days and uh i hope you enjoy it tim it's working well now and uh all the golden screwdriver work has been undone and uh yeah, quite pleased with it now. Spent a good bit of time doing the, the face and, and the lid and all of that carry on. So there you go. Anyway, that's it. We'll catch you in the next one. 73. Bye-bye.